You master SQL, you know Python, you build dashboards, you crush deliverables, but still you're not the analyst that people turn to you in the meeting. Why? Because the real skill that separates great analysts from the rest aren't the ones which are listed on the job description. Every company needs great analysts, but only a few analysts knows how to turn data to decision. Today, I'll break down these five underrated high leverage skills that top analysts use to drive results, not just report. Skill number one is business acumen or domain knowledge. Understanding data is one thing, but knowing why it matters is another. So top analysts just don't analyze data, they align. So for example, in e-commerce, you need to know when season trend changes, inventory issue arises, or marketing spend affects sales in healthcare. How regulatory shifts can impact doctors, patients, or insurance. So that's where critical business domain knowledge is important to answer all these questions. Skill number two, storytelling with data. Raw numbers don't drive decisions, but narratives do. So instead of saying this model has 80% accuracy, say we can now predict buyers with 80% certainty, which means that we have 15% positive marketing return on investment. That's what gets stakeholders buying. When you tell a story along with the data, backed by numbers, but even great story sometimes fails, that's because either your data is wrong or your data is misunderstood. That's where critical thinking becomes your secret weapon, which is the skill number three, critical thinking. So you want to become a data analyst? My Analyst Accelerator course will just help you do that. In just few days, you'll go from feeling lost in spreadsheets to building clean reports and dashboards with confidence. You'll learn how to ask questions, work with messy data, and explain your work in simple, clear terms. The link is in the description below. If you want to feel confident when someone asks for insight, this course is your starting point. Your job is isn't just to run queries, but it's to question the data. What's missing if there's some biases or who might be impacted if this report goes live? So for example, an analyst flagged 80% customer satisfaction until they realized the canceled user were excluded from the survey. Now that changes everything. And when the time is right, that's where critical thinking comes into picture. The analyst should have questioned why there is such a high customer satisfaction. Skill number four is collaboration and communication. So top analysts just don't work in silos. They synchronize with the business, ops, and executive teams to make sure the insights are proper. Also in terms of communication, you need to adapt your language. So don't say the SQL code is fine-tuned. Say that our code is now optimized, which will give real-time results to make real-time decisions. So that's where communication is important, where you frame every point with what this means for the business. Skill number five is operation excellence. So 60% of the time, analysts spend cleaning messy data, but the best analysts don't complain, they solve. So for example, if there's a problem, that's where you have to work with the business to solve it. For example, an analyst in a telecommunication company worked with the telecommunication team to standardize timestamps across all their logs which helped them to cover seasonal traffic patterns and the insight that they found, it reduced cut wait times by 30. So that's where you have to partner up with business to drive change in your organization. So SQL and Python gets you in the room with these five skills. They get you promoted with data and just not work with it. This is how you stand out.